Hello YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, Ronan Kazi, another video for you. Today I was uh, working on my Shepherd rank and uh, I was lucky enough, it looks like uh, three clan members were out questing and they called for backup and I was lucky enough to get in a group with them. They're from the D&D &D clan. Uh, we did a control point and a couple other things out in the open world and then we are doing DCU and DCU on hard. Now that you can see they're kind of lower uh, shade levels but <clears throat> I played with them for quite a while because they're really good players. They're complimentary in how they play. You can see they are in cover and uh, they never go down. Uh, they're always uh, using great squad tactics and everything, so it was a joy to play with them. And I was lucky enough to, to get to run with them. So that's one of the things. Um, you're going to see in a couple spots when we clear this out, when we go to the door, I wait for them. Uh, when you're helping people, unless it's a time trial, you know, you should give them time to check their inventory and do those kind of things. Uh, they're not looking to race through content unless someone's specifically asked for it or if you're in a time trial. If we're in a time trial, I'm going as fast as I can. I'm, I'm just running nonstop. But they may be working on builds. They may be communicating, right? So you want to, as someone that's helping people out, you want to make sure, you know, that... That's what I would want as if I was with my friends or family and we were playing a game. I wouldn't want some stranger coming in and just dominating everything. I'd want them to kind of just augment us and help us achieve our goals. So that's what I'm trying to do. So there's a lot of loot. There's my dog again. A lot of loot. At this point, I just recently made expertise level 20. You could go to 21, but 20 was such a grind that uh, I'm not going to worry about getting to level 21 right now. I'm happy with 20. It's a nice round number. So I've sped up the video in this part so you don't have to see me waiting and then waiting. I could have cut it out. Sometimes when people edit stuff out of the video, I wonder, you know, what's going on. So I try to just keep everything as one contiguous video. So you can kind of say, oh, he's not, you know. I, I say a lot of stuff about tactics and strategy, and so I would hate to, you know, edit the video to make it prove my point, because that's not the whole, the deal of it. I'm working on a DPS, weapon DPS video, and I die a lot <laughs> in that video. Probably won't show you all that, because I'll just die in either thing. It's, really hard with a just a dps weapon dps video to do a control point and have it go fast there's some builds that are better than others but i can imagine if i was in a group there's other weapon uh builds that might be better than that so that video is coming out but one of the members of the group has that skill when they put their shield up it gives everyone extra armor right so that's a uh that's clearly a sign of a teammate, you know, people strategize, strategize together. Uh, when I'm looking at now, it looks like they all have re five hives, so they don't, you know, each person's kind of self-sustainable. And I haven't talked to these folks, so I don't know if they play together a lot. This is the first time. I know nothing. I, I guess if I was playing with people that I knew or I could communicate on a side channel on. I might have a different kind of strategy, but. Listen up. We got devils in our house and they mean to kill us all. Stand and fight. And these are folks that are fighting within their, they feel comfortable at hard. I don't want to come in. If we ran together, the next time I'd say, hey, let's try challenging. And then I would try to help them get to, you know, maybe if we did heroics, because they get better loot drops. You saw earlier there was a bunch of pinks for me. So. You know, that's part of the thing. The better loot drops they get, the stronger they'll be. So I think if you've seen some of my other videos of DCU, I come up here either throw Seekers, I'm about to Pulse. 
And I'm not legendary. I'm not heroic. This build is great. It's because it's AOE, it does tons of damage. And um, for this kind of content, I think it's the best build. I don't, uh, maybe I've been playing with Negotiator's Dilemma. Negotiator's Dilemma is great. Uh, you'll see more in my video, but when you mark someone and then you just start crit hitting any of the people you've marked, they all take damage. The problem with reds though are that reds are gonna drop before you can really get that against yellows, it's fantastic. So this is a kind of build that is great for these if you're running clan mates through here or if you want to shepherd people, maybe an AOE. I was running, uh, at first I was running a heal pot and then it just stopped. It's, you know, it's red so they die pretty fast. So we're already on the boss on this hard. And you'll see they're pretty much gone after this. And those guys mop it up. What's going to happen at the end of this, they're going to spawn behind us, and I'm saving my pulse for that, I think. So, I just wanted to do this quick video. I enjoyed playing with these folks. They were kind enough to let me join in. I just wanted to help them. Uh, I think I got a shepherd level earlier. Didn't video that, but just wanted to share this again. I think it's not everything has to be legendary or heroic or anything. Hope you have a great day. This is Ronan Kazi signing out. Thanks, bye. Taking out the hyena leadership leaves the faction dead.